Just hanging out in the shop, you know, trying to get stuff done. What do you think? <laughs> so we got the got the Audi back on the hoist. Problem is, it's a pain getting it on that hoist. So we figured we'd uh, come up with something else, which is this thing. We figured we'd throw an old car on there first to make sure it's safe, but we'll show you how to make this. Good and solid. Good and solid. <laughs> So we have an Audi and just bought a new hoist. The problem is we can't get the Audi on the hoist because um, I can pick it up from the skid plate, but then I need to have the skid plate on and the point of the hoist is to work on the car. The skid plate's in the way, we got a problem. So it's really easy, you need a piece of steel like this and then you take one there, there. And then when you're all done, it just comes out of the oven. Looks like something like this. Okay, so I went to my local uh, steel shop in town there at uh, Vic Palace and I just gave him a list of everything that I wanted. I want to be able to pick up a car. We've got 18 inch tires on the Audi. The Mercedes has 17 inch but wider tires. So I measured that I need roughly 18 inches to, um, to straddle the tire. So I got quarter inch, three inch by three inch square tubing, and this will be the back of it. Because we've got pins going through where your paddles would be on the hoist itself, I'm gonna be butting this up against the three inch tubing. So the top of it will be pulling. So I'm laying the, the three quarter inch plates on top and I'm butting the half inch plate against the bottom. Now I've already ground one side on an angle where it gets welded up against the steel. So that would be your bottom piece. Your three inch square tubing is your main support piece. Everything kind of gets fit around this. So I cleaned up the sides that are gonna get welded against and I put a nice taper on where the stress welding is just so you get more of a, a bite into it. The corners are already really nice because they're already curled. You can, you can lay your weld in there really nice. You still need to shine up the steel to get that nice clean weld without the garbage poking through. The top piece will be three quarter inch and will lay on top. And again, I've ground the, the sides that I'm gonna be welding on already. I had the welding shop drill the holes for me already. So I've got the pin, I just wanna line up those holes. If it's off a little bit, if it's a little bit farther forward and back, doesn't matter, I can weld it anywhere, but I still need those holes to line up. So we're gonna take our piece on the side. Um, and again, I've cleaned that up. I can lay a nice bead of weld in between here, connect the tube to here on the side, and then we'll lay this over top and that'll, that'll connect the top nicely to the bottom. If you have the, the bottom piece and the top piece on, it's hard to get the weld in the, in the middle here. So because we can get a really nice weld on the outside here, um, I'm gonna weld the bottom piece first. If I can't get my stick in there to weld um, the top plate, I still have the welds around the outside that are perfect because they're easy to get at. Then on the very bottom, we'll have three inch by three inch by quarter inch angle iron that will go underneath it and get welded. So that's, that's where all your stress is gonna be. And then we, I got them to make plate on a four inch, which is also quarter, which will weld on an angle. This will give it support um, on the face of the three by three tubing as well. We'll put this on the side and then that will pick up our car. Now, that being said, um, you are walking underneath it. If you are gonna do this yourself, um, you're gonna have to get these sent out to get x-rayed and keep in mind that you're picking up a car. I'm not an engineer, but I know that my hoist is a 7,000 pound. The car weighs about 3,500 pounds and I would never put any more than that on it. So I'll show you guys how to make them. Uh, it's your own responsibility if you make them or if you're a terrible welder and the car falls down on top of you. Don't do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not welding it. <laughs> I need to get this bottom square to this square tubing. You can use the other support pieces just for now um, to make sure that you're nice and straight. So we'll tack that in place. Keep in mind that when you weld, the weld will shrink. So if I weld the top first, when it cools, it'll pull it up slightly. And it already curled up a little bit. So I'm just gonna tap it um, and then weld a bit on the bottom and try to pull it back. I 
happy with that. All right, so this is the bottom, and because we V'd it out, we're able to lay our weld nicely in that in that V. But we have to shave off any high spots. If you got any little, uh, you know, see we had a little bit of porosity here, and that's probably because of a little bit of dirt yet, or I didn't grind that um, torch off all the way. We need to grind that off just so that our angle iron can lay nice and flat and square on the bottom of that. Okay, so these are the arms that are gonna stick out. I'm going to put this plate in and I'm going to lay it on so it's, it's flat on the ground and I'm going to butt the end up flush on the outside. If we weld it and it's a quarter inch uh, off on the distance here, doesn't matter, but I don't want to grind the end later. So I'll line that up, put a little tacky tacky on there. So that's one. Do the other one. Okay, um, we're gonna double check that our three quarter plate is on top. And basically we'll just butt this up, put a couple tacks on there, make sure that it's square. I wanna, if anything, you definitely don't want them squeezing in. If anything, you can have a little bit out, but we're gonna aim for square. At this point, Probably a good idea to stick it underneath your tire and make sure that it slides underneath. Otherwise, you'll be driving it up onto a block every time to make sure that this um, still meets up with the tire. So I know that it fits because I've already made one and I'm following the same sizes. Throw my other mask on, we'll weld this solid. There you have it. Got that cool. Two down, two to go. A couple little pigeon tails to clean up, but overall, um, so far so good. We've got four finished. Um, who's gonna try it out? Obviously, it's what? me. I'm the fat one. My body <laughs> for science. Okay. Against your welding skills, which one's your best one to try? This is really scientific testing. Whoa. You don't have to go up too high. <laughs> it's the same yeah, thing. Not Not really. <laughs> We're doing the wiggle I, test. I don't have insurance for that. My wife took out life insurance on me when I started coming here. She's hoping and praying. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Wait, you're gonna get fat. Is that true? Push him. <laughs> no. Push him. Push him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Higher. Higher. Okay. Feed, so, feed him some drinks and send him higher up. Okay, so I never thought we'd have this dilemma, but what car do we put on? I think we should put the most expensive vehicle on we have. Get that GTO <laughs> on here. And clearly, this is the one that's worth the most. Yeah, we got to keep going. Ooh, easy. I've never seen the bottom of this car, so this will be, this will be interesting. I probably should have checked the oil before I turned it up. 
Okay, so pause the video right now and see how, and, and, and rate the amount of deflection you think that uh, picking up this. How much does this car weigh? Uh, let's check the door. It's like, could you stop it? It's another car to hold it. 4,400 somethings. Schmeckles. All right, send it. What's the deflection? Is it bad? I'm not gonna lie, it looks a little scary. It does look scary, but it's, it's safe. Crunch the roof. No. This you one. You want to walk underneath? I don't have insurance. I lied about that. <laughs> My wife would be pissed if I get crunched. <laughs> she gets nothing. I think it's okay. Yeah, I think it's okay too. But look, this is actually plastic. <laughs> <laughs> the plastic's it's not great. The plastic's not rotten at all. Solid. That's not that bad though. No, actually. It's 89. Come on. What? I thought it was 91. Oh yeah, 91. Whatever. Well, I want my money back because it's an 89. That's that's false advertising. <laughs> this whole car is false advertising. <laughs> 360,000 K on it. The K car that had 37,000 kilometers on it, when you're doing 80, oh, you're no, like, no. oh man, I'm doing 180. And it's like, no, just 80. Yeah. This one, you're doing a buck 30, and you're like, why am Nothing, I doing yeah. 60? Yeah. No, the, the German the German car <laughs> just peed on me. Peed on me. <laughs> the, the, the engine is not rusty. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's very well oiled. The, yeah, the engine is not rusty. The only reason I bought this car was I paid just over scrap for it, and it's got the OM605 in it. So and five... you got to drive it for like a month. Well, yeah, I paid the money I saved in fuel, probably paid. I, I've been driving it with the garage plate for a bit around town just. Um, just you to probably, hop in. You probably and go. saved 100 bucks in fuel. Yeah, easy. Well, we'll make another video on this car, but it doesn't start very well in the winter. So we're just pulling the engine up and putting it in a convertible. That's the plan. After the C10, after the Audi, after. It's leaking on me now. It's but midget. anyway, the midget. Yeah. You just keep plugging away at the midget. And I'll, you just do what you want. You tell me what you want to do, but. Yeah. You weld here, push that. Dang it. Adjust this. It's a scam. The only thing on this, I might get a little less deflection if I. Put space, uh, spacers in between there. Look at this. If I took up that slack, see how it's touching yeah, here yeah, and not yeah. here? It, it does lift it up. Yeah, so I'll put some spacers underneath. I think we'll get rid of more deflection. It'll only get better. Because the arm itself is not deflecting. It's, it's this it's on there. So yeah. let's take up that space and we're golden. All right, so I had to notch a little corner in there yet. And we've welded in uh, two plates at the just as to keep take up that space. So that's uh, the, the back ones were an inch, the front ones were a half inch. So we've got some plates in here and even though it doesn't take up everything, it's much better than it was. Um, we'll always fight the play in here. If you can see, if you can see when I lift, all the play is in here. Maybe I'll make a little shim just to push on that. I don't know if, if, if all the tension is good on it. I, I gotta decide on that yet, but it's much better than it was. So much so that we're gonna forgo putting a car on it to test it. I'm just gonna tell Aaron to go paint it. See if it made a real difference putting those plates at the bottom. So here we go. So it would be level, except we totally stanced this Mercedes. It's not 100%, but I think it's much better. It's not as sketchy as it It's so much more better more. It's it's <laughs> sketchy. It's still sketchy. It's, it's sketchy. just not as sketchy. I, I, I'm okay with this. So the Audi will look even better. The, the Audi does have a lot of camber. Um, that back, that back right one is a little bit more excessive than the other three. So I'll see if I can tighten that one up yet. But, um, We've got ourselves wheel, dolly, lift, hoist. I don't even know what you Tire call it. Tire hoist lifters. Success? Success. Good <laughs> That's enough. That's all you guys yeah, need we'll, to know. We'll, uh, no one died in the making of this video. I'm going to roll one of the nice cars underneath. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> this, is just... <laughs> this is probably the worst car to have above someone else's car. That's good enough. We're going to leave it overnight. We'll shake it a little bit. Carry on as if normal. Here we go.